What's up humans? We're on a little road trip today. We're going to Charlotte, North Carolina. We're gonna check out the Black Hornet, the new uh, Nike SB by Black Sheep Skate Shop for All-Star Weekend. It drops this weekend, so stay tuned. We'll see you when we get to Black Sheep. It's gonna be awesome. We're at Black Sheep. It's right here. Crazy. So yeah, we got the NBA hang tag. We got some NBA branding on it. I guess I need to pop these laces off. Um, got our shop name on there, which is sick. So Black Hornet is a theme to go with the uh, NBA All Star and kind of Charlotte Hornets. Yep. Iridescent upper that kind of shifts. When it's low and on foot, it kind of looks dark and black, which is kind of cool for people that are a little more mellow. This is like a, some silver embroidery, a little embellishment we added on there to be like a hornet stinger. Yeah, that's smart. We've got some hex metal eyelets here, which are custom, they did that for us. And they did uh, kind of like a honeycomb hex mesh tongue. And then the inside we did like the- Oh, the wings. Wing pattern, so we haven't really talked about that yet. So that's kind of pre dope. preview stuff, yeah. And then the, uh, the insole. Got a little honeycomb pattern on it with the hornets and it makes a swoosh with the other side so yeah we had fun with it got a little crazy with it what plundering through josh's stuff that's what we're doing now but i don't know if there's any of that or not Oh, they stuck. Here we go. <laughs> oh, those are sick. We're here in Charlotte, North Carolina with Josh Frazier from Black Sheep Skate Shop. What's up, everybody? We're going to talk about, I don't know, your new shoe, your old shoes, how we got here, all that sort of stuff. This is your third release. Um, the first one, I kind of wanted to talk about it. Um, it was a little bit of a crazy release, probably pretty stressful release. Um, maybe didn't go as planned. Yeah, I yeah, I mean, uh, can't really comment on, on some things, but um, yeah, in general, they've all been uh, pretty stressful, I would say, from, yeah. from my perspective. Uh, this one, we're sort of in the midst of it. Uh, it's launching in, what, three days? On Friday, today's. Three days. Yeah. So uh, a lot of last minute details, trying trying to get everything you know sorted out. Um, but yeah, it's almost like uh, like having a child or something. It's like this thing you work on for, you know, sometimes a year, sometimes longer, you know, ideas. Uh, really rad to see it all come to life, but um, yeah, it, it can be stressful again because you know yeah, yeah. a lot of eyes on you, I guess you know, and a lot For of sure. which is good to have the exposure, obviously. But um, yeah, you just you want I want people to like it. I want people to be stoked, you know. Right. And so it's yeah, yeah. you know it's a little bit of pressure there. When you when you first come up with the ideas, is it something that 
like, because you're the man in charge over there, do you like kind of spitball it with everyone else? Do you come up with the ideas or how does it, how do you? Uh... Yeah, I mean, all different ways. I mean, uh, you know, I'm sure you're the same way. You know, I mean, it's uh, sometimes it's, it's everybody kind of collectively talking yeah. about things and coming up with stuff. But yeah, I mean, for the shoe stuff, uh, historically, it's been a little bit probably, you know, more me and then also Richie, who you know, right. uh, lifelong friend, uh, kind of right hand man in terms of design. Yeah. He's, uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, if I come up with ideas or concepts, like he kind of helps me bring it, bring it to life. Right. You know, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, I lean on him yeah. a lot to kind of uh, make things a reality. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I try to do that, and I think sometimes being like a store owner, or a shop owner, or whatever, you can be a little bit of a control freak sometimes, and like letting someone else put their it's hand tough. on things is, can be super hard. It is, yeah. I mean, but I don't me, know how you make something like of this nature this big as one one person that may be one of my hindrances yeah no, i mean def, <laughs> definitely uh definitely rely on the team especially at this level yeah, uh, yeah. a lot you know whether it's the in-store stuff or the online stuff or you know right now we've got uh photos going on and social media yeah. and you know we got dudes making boxes we did special packaging so you know guys right. are it's like you know, uh, the elves in the Santa's factory putting together all the, the little pieces yeah, yeah. and putting the, yeah. the Nerf uh, basketballs in and the stickers, you know. So, um, yeah, it, it takes uh, it takes a village. It takes a team. It takes sure. a village, yeah. I remember talking to you on the first release on the, on the phone because I, I get excited about these two, like, up until I, you know, needed some extra cash. I had all the black sheep shoes myself. But I get excited because I'm like, dude, my friend is making this – Cool ass thing happened, you know. So I remember talking to you when the first one, and how stressed you were because it didn't go as planned. Mm -hmm. But it ended up kind of working out way better in the long run, as far as like visibility and uh, just like elevating the. Yeah, yeah. I, I was watching your Instagram just explode during that moment, just going, "Holy crap, this is insane!" Yeah, and I know, like from your vantage. No, it was very stressful. I mean, I, 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 was, I lost a lot of sleep. Uh, yeah. You know, like I was uh, like like physically ill, like throwing up. Like there were days. Wow. Yeah. yeah, there were days where I was just waking up. You know, whatever, four or five o'clock in the morning, on the phone with my rep. You know, uh, just just worried. You know, going back to that control and and yeah. sort of the unknown. And, and um, but yeah, t uh, to your point, um, the silver lining from all that was you know we got a lot it was a good story we got a lot of great a exposure good, out of it story, yeah, yeah and, and sometimes when things aren't um don't go as planned or you know aren't as readily available you know it's like people want it more so yeah it ended up working out fortunately yeah so you guys a lot of you guys probably already know what happened with the first black sheep release uh maybe maybe tell the people who don't know in the comment section below like we can't really touch on what happened with that one i don't know i don't know <laughs> Maybe we could, but we're we're just gonna play it safe. We're not supposed to, so we're gonna play it safe. But yeah, just in general, broadly, uh, the, this this process uh, for me, going back to like being a control freak or or you know wanting wanting people to be stoked on it. You know, it's uh, it's it's pretty stressful. For yeah, sure. I believe it. Yeah, I can't imagine. But um, but it's fun also. You know, it's like it's fun. Uh, like the creative process, like part of just being a, I think from our generation too, like growing up with skateboarders, you know, it's kind of a, it was a DIY kind of uh, vibe, you know, and, and, and so like to, just to make something, whether it's a t-shirt or a skateboard or a sticker and, uh, you know, express yourself and tell a story, like that to me is like, you know, take, take sort of the business side out of it or the, you know, any you know, sort of financial aspect, you know, like to me, I think it's, you know, that's what really kind of draws me is like creating something. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's the people who are su successful. That's why it works for them because they're doing it out of a creative place or out of a passionate place or whatever. And yeah. When you're like, Oh, I just want to make money. You're not going to, you're yeah. not going to hit like that. But that first release going as, as strangely as it did, kind of put you in line for a, another one to kind of make up for it, right? Is that how that worked, or was that just like... Yeah, potentially, I don't know. Yeah. Um, you know, I think... And that was the wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah, yeah, so we did that one, and, um, you know, I, I think, you know, we just made it a point, we just kind of, uh, how should I put it, 
you know, we wanted to kind of come out swinging, you know, so I think we, we threw everything we could at it in terms of doing the extras, like the packaging and stickers and, and trying to tell that story yeah. and, uh, you know, utilizing you know, whatever social media and, and any, you know, sort of resources we had. We did, uh, we partnered with Fully Laced, who does a lot of cool, like, aftermarket, like, SB laces yeah. in, San, in San Francisco, and we did, like, lace locks and things like that. So, you know, I think... I think just trying to kind of go the extra mile and, and give like 110% toward it. I think that we really benefited from that. Like, yeah. you know, a lot of people sort of took notice and it kind of set it apart from some of the other things that, that were happening. Yeah, yeah, sometimes people have a shoe and it's a great shoe, but it's just the shoe. You guys definitely have more of a... We try to make a whole like... Mixed tapes yeah. and all this sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah, it's awesome. exactly. You bring, you bring the community into it as well, because it's like, I mean, even Thank in you. the Black Sheep video, didn't you use like local DJ working on I don't know like yeah yeah exactly yeah. like yeah I think there's a you know going back to kind of growing up with skateboard you know there's kind of a music aspect there's right. a fashion aspect um, you know to me there's kind of a co common thread there between art music fashion skateboarding sure. you know so we try to kind of you know tap in all those various yeah, yeah. elements whenever we do something you know so cool. I think hopefully that resonates with people outside of skateboarding you know and, and you know people's seem to be psyched on it. So. Yeah, I think it definitely resonates outside of skateboarding. Um, with Maybe more so than it does more inside so, That's what I was going to say, like, how do you think this is received on, through skateboarding? Because sometimes, I mean, dude, we're in the same video that's like 30 years old, <laughs> skateboarding. You know, yeah, like the, yeah, yeah, yeah. A thousand, year, a thousand tries or whatever, it feels like a thousand years ago. Yeah. But like, yeah, skateboarding is such a huge part of our life. Like, sometimes I think, like, we can do things and skaters look at it like hmm, yeah that's what you you're know, probably but right like, <laughs> but it's like what you know but it's like dude this coming from yeah inside us or art you know yeah so yeah, yeah do you yeah. think it resonates so more? that's that's how well that's how i personally feel about it is yeah. um yeah probably i think there's it probably is some skateboarders scratching their head maybe but I you know, think it I, all wraps up into hip hop and street culture and everything that you're yeah you know. for me it makes sense you know and 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 as a skateboarder, I think the, the like the core like ethos is like don't be put into a box, you know. Like so, for me, that's that's an important sort of aspect yeah. that I want to express. Is like I kind of want to just talk about what I want to talk about and do what I want to do and you know carry what I want to carry in the store and like I don't want anybody to say like well no skateboarding is only this. Like right. I think. No, that makes sense. For me, like the the most compelling thing about skateboarding is it can be like whatever you want it to be. And yeah. like for me, the most influential people that I've seen in skateboarding were people that just did what the fuck they wanted we're, to do. We're you know definitely what I'm outside of the box. Yeah. And so, skaters today, especially your core skater, slam skating into this box, and anything outside of it doesn't. It's work. easy to do. I mean, you know, and we're all guilty of it. Oh yeah, certainly. I definitely, <laughs> I definitely do it. I've lightened up in my old age. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, again, we're all guilty of it. But yeah, I mean, that's that's my, you know, that's my motivation for it. That's my, right. you know, that's what I try to do. You know, but again, with the realistic understanding that that you know, a lot of people may not be as open to it or yeah. view it that way you know dude who cares that's that's how i feel it's but like I, you're doing your thing you're yeah. doing what you want to do it's got to be cares? yeah it's got to and like what you do like it's got to be a reflection of of you and your experience and your background otherwise it's you're just like everybody else right? exactly you know what i mean yeah so that speaks volumes yeah yeah so having said that how do we how did we get to this the black hornet the shoe is sick, by the way. Well, thank I'm you. Super hyped on yeah. it. Like. I mean, this again. This one. This one's a little bit uh, kind of wild and more of a concept shoe, you know. And yeah. it's um, it's it's flashy, but maybe in kind of a mellow way. Like on foot, it looks kind of dark, but in the light, it's kind of crazy. So it's like, uh, you know, again, like sort of understanding that it might not be everybody's cup of tea because it, it is a little wild. But like, we wanted to have fun with it. Like, yeah, and. Basically, it was kind of opportunistic. Like, all right, the NBA All Star Game was coming to Charlotte. Nike was doing, kind of telling that NBA story and kind of leaning on, you know, kind of the basketball heritage of where some of their successful skate yeah. shoes were, the Blazer and the Dunk and things like that. So, you know, we just saw an opportunity there to kind of jump in and like almost, you know, kind of even tell the local story, which is like the Charlotte Hornets, right? Which I grew up, you know, as a kid going to like the old Coliseum and seeing some of those games and. And that was just such a huge moment for the city in general, like our, our local area, like to get yeah. like the first 
professional sports franchise, pro- I guess probably in North and South Carolina. Yeah, because we still it. don't have one. Yeah, yeah. so. College football for us, college yeah. basketball, everything. Which, you know, again, you know, never, still not like a mainstream sports guy, but like, yeah. always had like a, a warm place in my heart for like the Hornets and kind of the heritage stuff. Yeah. So anyway, we just kind of wanted to tell that story and there's a lot of like, just yeah. like local history there. And That's cool. It's kind of a futuristic kind of spin on it, but yeah, Is that, just having fun with it. Was it like you saw the NBA? stuff coming and 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 you pre- you presented it to nike or did they come to you and say hey we're doing all this stuff why don't we work together and yeah no is we we saw it and we knew that yeah, we yeah, knew we were getting the game and then you know it was like with the game here it's we just felt like you know we just want to be a part of it the situation to be I, honest with I you. think it worked out you've already been on the news it's our yeah the social media is already blowing up about it like we it's, it's we're kind of hearing about it and Columbia. I mean, it's only an hour and a half away, but yeah. we feel the buzz only an hour and a half away. The buzz. The buzz, literally. So. Well, yeah, cool. Uh, so. Happy to hear that. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, again, going back to all the other shops, you know, like, I want all the shops to do well with the shoe and be yeah. stoked on it, and hopefully people show up to the stores, go to, go to the stores and buy the shoes. <laughs> That's right. The 15th, the black sheet, the 22nd at Blue Tile, we'll have them for you guys. Yeah, yeah. so like I hope that everybody, you know, uh, has fun with it and tells a story and, you know, makes a little money, hopefully. Yeah, so. and I just saw all the packaging. I didn't see what's in the box, but it looks like some pretty cool stuff. It, yeah. Like, I saw some stickers and the boxes are we'll sick. We'll make sure you get a look at that here in a minute. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, we got some extra laces, like a lace pack with fully laced. Uh, some little lace locks that kind of look like uh, like a little honeycomb kind of hex uh, thing. Yeah. Um, s- sticker pack, dust bag, bas- Nerf basketball, foam basketball. So yeah, several things in there just to like, you know, make it make it special hopefully yeah. for some of the collectors or whatever. Word, that's awesome. I think that's it. Cool. I think we got it all. Thanks everybody. We're g- we're gonna go back to the shop and uh, get some close ups of the shoes and the goods and uh, that's it. Awesome. Thanks, dude. Thank I you. appreciate it. I know Good it's time. awkward. No, it was man. good. Yeah, right? Enjoy. I hope that was informative. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, Josh. Man, I appreciate it. Man. Yeah, thank you, guys. I'll see you. Have see a good you next time. Later. All right, guys. That's it. I hope this was informative. Uh, see you later, Black Sheep. See you later, Josh. Thank you, guys. These are my keys. Thank you, guys, for helping out with this video. And thank you, guys, for watching. All the best. Love, Blue Tie.